Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impressions on a new palette that I just recently picked up. It is the Morphe Kathleen Lights Collab Palette and I'm super excited about it. I have never purchased anything from Morphe before, so I was excited to get this one. I'm not usually one to get palettes that are limited edition or are gonna sell out really fast online and you have to go like right away, but I decided to get this one and I'm so happy with it. So if you wanna see my first impressions and how I got this eye look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right in. I purchased the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette when it first launched. I could not, I was oddly, like I don't really get excited about huge launches like this. And I kid not, I got so hyped and so excited about it that I kid not, by 101, I already had my confirmation email. <laughs> so this is what the outside looks like. It just has really cute kind of red metallic writing and it says Morphe X Kathleen Lights. And then on the inside, you get all the shadows. So you get 15 amazing, amazing shadows ranging from super shimmery to matte. And I will swatch as I go. I, I figure this is a first impression, so I'm gonna do an eye look as we kind of chat about the products. Honestly, I really wanna use the green. I really do. But I think I'm, I'm gonna try not to because I mean, it, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. <laughs> We're going to just jump into an eye look and then um, I'll talk more about the palette afterwards. I'm gonna roll up our sleeves. We're getting crazy here. We're getting into this. So I know it's a first impressions, but I am going to prime my eyes just because I have extremely oily eyelids and no matter what the shadow is, if I want it to last a long time, I need to prime my eyes. That's just the way my eyes are. Uh, they're extremely oily. I'm going to go ahead and just use one that I know is really great and it's the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. I've used this guy for years. I actually like it better than the MAC Paint Pot. I find it doesn't dry out as quickly and it's just easier to apply to the eyeball. So I'm just going to quickly apply that all over the eyes. You get some really good shades in here. You have a shimmery cream and then an also a matte cream and then a lot, like so many good ones. So we're going to take this matte cream here and test this out. It's kind of like a grayish cream, like it has definitely a gray tinge to it, but I'm not mad at it. So I'm just going to take a big, large brush. It seemed really smooth and buttery on this, on the finger. So, oh, and just an FYI, this is the first time I've ever purchased uh, Morphe eyeshadows. I've only ever purchased brushes from Morphe. So this is my first time ever touching any of their eyeshadows. So I have no advanced knowledge of their eyeshadows, their eyeshadow qualities, how they work or anything like that. Anyways, I'm just gonna take that cream color and just set my base. So I just pat it on and go all the way up. It's doing a pretty good job. Like it's going on really evenly. So that's good. One thing that I'm kind of noticing is there's not the greatest, like just simple transition color. This one here is definitely the closest one, but I do see a little bit of shimmer in it, which isn't too difficult because shimmery eyeshadows are easier to uh, blend out, but there you go. So that one was also extremely creamy, but not overly pigmented. So I'm just gonna take a Sigma E40, pop some on and get that in the crease to just kind of start our look. Oh yeah, it's pretty pigmented once it's on the eye. Not bad at all. Okay, so I definitely changed my mind about that uh, shade. I really like it. You can't tell that it's a shimmery shadow on the lid. Like mine definitely looks like there's little tiny, tiny, tiny gold shimmer in it. But once it's on, it's on the actual lid, I can't see it at all and it really looks nice. Like I really like it. It reminds me a lot of Coco Bear from Makeup Geek. So to deepen that up, I mean, obviously this shade down here is calling my name. And then the one right next to it really looks like Desert Sands by um, Makeup Geek as well. And they're both super pigmented. Wow, these are great. I think I'm gonna fast track and pick my lid. Like, I think that's the way I'm gonna do this. So I know I was going back and forth between that green and that, and this purple. 
that green is just crazy pigmented. It's so gorgeous. And then this is the purple. It's kind of like a, a dusty gray purple. So I'm going to go into the purple just dry brush. I feel like these are the types of shadows that would work extremely well with MAC Fit Plus. But for today, we're just going to go in dry and see what happens. It was super pigmented on the finger and when I swatched it. So we'll see how it goes on the eye. So I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it is gorgeous. I did have to dip my brush in quite a few times, but not because it wasn't pigmented, it just wasn't spreading across the lid. So um, definitely just a little bit by little bit, you had to really pack, but it was easy to apply and it was really, it's, it's gorgeous. Like I don't even think you would need the MAC Fix Plus, unless you really wanted to add like a metallic feel to it, but just standing alone, it's really pretty. So let's start to intensify this look. I think these are the two that I'm gonna be working with. They're the purple and purpley mauve toned ones, and they look really pigmented. So I'm just taking a Luxie 227 blending brush, and I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first and start just kinda carving out the crease a little bit and deepening up the V. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker one just to kinda So I just applied the two purple shades, the outer V and into the crease, and I'm so impressed. So I'm just going to go in with this shade right here, the creamy highlight shade. So pigmented, almost too pigmented. I'm a little worried putting this on my brow bone, but we'll see. Like, I'm sure it's going to be fine, but it just looks really icy. This is the, <laughs> the Luxie 213 eye shading, so I'm just going to take it on the tip and... Uh, bring it along the brow bone. Now, mind you, my brows aren't done, but it's fine. It won't affect them that much. So yeah, this is super icy. So if you like a real good highlight, you're gonna like this. I'm not one to really love um, like icy highlights on my brow bone, but I do love an icy highlight. Not necessarily icy, but just like a really pop-in highlight on the inner corner. I find it really helps open up your eyes, so I'm gonna do that now. This is definitely a new favorite inner corner highlight because it's super pop-in. All right, so I finished off the rest of my face and my lip and, you know, everything. And I just wanted to give a quick overview on how I feel about the palette. Honestly, I love it. The pigmentation and the quality of the shadows that I have used on my eyes are amazing. And the other shadows in the palette feel the same way. As you guys saw with the green shadow, the gray ones, the browns, they are all super pigmented. They're really creamy and they're also really easy to work with, I find. I didn't have any problems blending anything out or making anything look pigmented or the color that it looks like in the palette there was none of that i think kathleen did an amazing job picking out these shades these are all shades that i love i'm really happy with it i think it was a great purchase you get 15 eyeshadows that are really awesome ranging and you can create so many different looks i mean like this green shade looks pretty random inside the palette but when you're looking and wanting to create looks you can do so many things you know with those shades so my overall opinion is that this is a great palette i'm so sad that it's limited edition i know that it sold out the first day that it launched or maybe the next morning but i am hoping that they restock this palette and if they do i will definitely let you guys know i always tweet about makeup launches and products that are back in stock and sales that are going on so if you don't follow me on twitter definitely do because that's a really handy place to uh, get information from me because i'm extremely active on there I haven't done a first impressions on my channel in a while and I really enjoyed it. It was kind of fun doing it on the fly. So if it was kind of scatterbrained, I apologize. But I want to keep doing first impressions because I think they're a lot of fun. But don't worry, I will do more in-depth reviews on palettes and foundations especially as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.